Hey YouTube, it's Monique bringing Skinny back. Um, I just got weighed, did my two week post op um, doctor's appointment, had a couple of issues with my incisions. I didn't do a video about it because I was waiting till today to tell you guys. Um, my big incision, right before I, I would uh, get in the shower, I check my incisions to make sure everything's okay. And um, a couple of days ago, actually over the weekend, I had, you know, tried to look at my biggest incision, you know, check it out, make sure it's okay. And it just started draining and draining and draining. So I had, um, my husband actually had gotten me some, um, like, big band-aids. the waterproof and stuff. So I could keep them dry, which was a big mistake on my part. Because all it did was when it would drain and I didn't know, and then it would be moist in there. So they kind of stunk, end up stinking. So when I went to my doctor's appointment today, I removed the bandages. And he said I need to just leave the bandages off and let them get air and uh when I left the hospital they were telling me not to get them wet so I was like really confused on you know what and what I'm just trying to follow doctor's orders um I know better than to just leave it on there but I didn't know they were draining so I thought they were just staying dry so it was a big surprise when I took them off at the doctor's office today so I've got a couple that are kind of still a little open, and I just, I guess, I just have to let the air hit them and let them, you know, heal up on their own. I guess my uh, biggest incision has kind of got, like, a hole in it, but it just drains, but it's nothing serious. So he said to make sure I let that hit get air, but, um, I call it my chocolate croissant, but my roll is, like, it's right underneath my roll, so it's not really going to get very much air to it. I don't want it to get infected because he told me if any of these are going to get infected, it's going to be my large, my larger incision. So I've got to take care of those and watch and just look after those and make sure everything's fine. And we've got a little issue with my weigh-in, so we've got to recalculate numbers because I was off when I told you guys how much I weighed in my, um, I forgot what video it was, but it was way back. A couple of videos, not way back because I don't have that many videos, but it was a couple of videos back. So my starting weight was 349. Okay, when I went in for the day of surgery, my weight was 330, which that was that means I was at a loss of 19 pounds. And then today I went in for my weigh in, and I was at 315. So that's another 50 pounds. So 19 to 15, I've lost a total of 34 pounds since um, my liquid diet has started and my surgery. So. I'm at a total loss of 34 pounds. I lost 15 pounds today, which leaves me at 315 for uh, this weigh in. I'm going to go ahead and get his, um, I can't even think of the word, a scale. There we go. A scale. So I can start weighing in and letting you guys know my numbers. Um, but besides that, everything went well. Um, I asked them about what kind of things I can eat. They said I can have cauliflower. But just, it may be gassy, it may not be gassy, so I'm going to wait to try that so I can try it on its own. So, for Thanksgiving, they told me I could have stuffing, but I read my paperwork and stuff, and it says to stay away from bread, so I'm going to stay away from the stuffing. I don't know, because it was the PA, it wasn't even the surgeon I met with today. So, I'm going to go ahead and stay away from the stuffing. But I am, um, he said I could have mashed potatoes, so I'll have a little bit of mashed potatoes. Sorry, I was looking at the pen. I'm going to have a little mashed potatoes and gravy, and then I'm going to go ahead and make a quiche with um, zucchini in it. And um, the happy cow cheese, uh, like, melted in there and baked it in there. So that's what I'm going to have for Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry I'm talking about Thanksgiving so much, but I'm really eager to get some, like, food, food in me, because this soup. I made a, um, what did I make last night? I made a cream of mushroom soup, put a little salt, a little pepper, a little uh, garlic powder, try to spritz it up, didn't work, that is so disgusting, so I'm going to just dump the thing out, because I don't, I'm not going to eat it, so, um, I'll probably make some cream of potato or cream of chicken tonight for the week, um, and I've been having a hard time keeping down, well, not keeping down, because I can keep it down, it just makes me really nauseous. Um, is my protein shake. I showed you guys, actually that's not it. Um, I have the whey protein that I bought from Walmart. It's, um, let's see what flavor is it. It's, um, chocolate peanut butter cup. 
And when I first got it, I thought it was great. It did bother me, but now I'm drinking it and it's making me kind of nauseous. So I'm going to try to get a new one and drink something else. But until then, i got to find a way to get my protein in. So I think I'm going to just keep on continue to mix it in in my um, pudding and just get it in that way. And I guess I'm still not getting enough fluids. I mean, I'm getting enough, but not as much as they want me to. I drink probably maybe two of these a day for my like liquid, my water or my juice. And then I have a protein shake. That's barely cutting it, so it's not enough. So um, she said I could take a little bit bigger drinks. Not so like little sips anymore. So I can, you know, almost like a half gulp. So um, I'm going to move that up and see how that goes for me. But um, besides that, everything's going well. I keep an eye on my decisions, like I said. Um, I'll keep you guys updated with my next weigh-in. I'll probably do a net another video before, the before then. But um, I'm going to try to do one every week, and if not every week, every two weeks. So uh, there's my numbers, and there's my update. So please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And I will get back to you guys as soon as I can. Take care. Bye.